some of the most popular books, in my opinion, in classics. I definitely want to get to these. booktube nation i'm sam here again with a baron of books nearing the end of my holidays and i just wanted to take a moment and bring you a quick video about some of my upcoming reading plans for 2020 so i tend to look for diamonds in the rough which is great with booktube maybe on my channel you'll find some things that you haven't heard before or maybe you'll see something that you wanted to read and then forgot about but I also need to check off some major huge holes in my reading journey. So first, let's talk about the Brontes. I have not read Jane Eyre. I know, it's crazy. I've read Wuthering Heights. I've read Agnes Grey. Nope, haven't read Jane Eyre. So um, this is definitely something I want to get to in 2020. I'm calling this the classics trinity so if i can get through these three books i will feel like i have definitely plugged some holes in my reading journey also have you read that's right pride and prejudice by jane austen i have read persuasion by jane austen lady susan by jane austen northanger abbey by jane austen and quite a chunk of Mansfield Park, but I have not read Pride and Prejudice. So it's time to finally read that popular book. Mm -hmm. It's time. And finally, Mr. Charles Dickens. I've read a short story by Charles Dickens. I've read um, some of um, Dombey and Son. Um, I don't know, maybe the first hundred pages or so. I'm enjoying it, but I'm reading that one really slowly. But this is one of his more popular. It's also one that a lot of people say is a great place to start. So this will complete my classics trinity. I'm sure a lot of you have read them. So um, if you like them, please let me know. Um, I, um, yeah, I, I read Rebecca this past year in 2019 and really enjoyed that. And I know that a lot of people do some comparisons between uh, Jane Eyre and um, Rebecca. So I'd be interested in to see how um, the Gothic uh, style uh, applies to both of those books individually. Um, yeah, so I'm... <laughs> I'm a little hesitant to actually put this out there because for me to read popular books is definitely a push. Um, for example, in 2019, I just finished reading the Harry Potter series with my family. I had read books one through four, tried to read book five, tried to read book five, tried to put it down for like 15 years. Why not? Hey, 15 years, 10 years, whatever it was. And um, so I just finally read those in 2019. So this is going to be a challenge for me um but yeah cheer me on um it's only three books i read 75 last year so this should definitely be doable that's my plan um i have some other reading goals and things that i may talk about over the next couple of videos um i also recently hit 300 subscribers so yay, yay. thank you twitterverse and my friend Becky for um, helping um, to put that out there on Twitter for me and some other wonderful bookish friends. Yeah, I'm really happy about that. I've been doing booktube for years now and um, that was just a really nice treat. Uh, maybe I'll put something together to kind of celebrate that. I'm also nearing almost 1300 on Twitter. So maybe I'll wait until I hit that and then do kind of a combination thing. 13 is an unlucky number for some people, but for me, it was my father's number. So every time I get around the number 13, it's actually a happy thing for me um, and reminds me of my dad. So that's always nice for me. I hope that everyone has had 
have a wonderful holiday. I hope that you have a happy new year. I hope that 2020 is like the best, the best, the best. The other day I heard um, our priest actually mentioned it was an Irish saying, and I believe it goes something to the effect of they wish that your worst day of 2000 and in 20 was your best day of 2019. So leaps and bounds ahead of the past. I wish you all luck and I hope that you're having a wonderful start to your year. Thanks for being here with me today. Farewell for now. Bye.